the stretch for race number one. And we have a field of five. We'll take them from the outside in. Money Hustler scoring from post five. Elm Grove Bandit from four. R.E. Scott from three. Camco Mario from post four. And from post five, Miss Mimi. Here they come. Off and pacing, and Elm Grove Bandit out for the early lead and takes it. Miss Mimi from the rail position gets away, racing second around the turn, and Miss Mimi takes the lead away from Elm Grove Bandit. And now Elm Grove Bandit backing off right there as well, third R.E. Scott. Then it's Camco Mario gapped out in fourth and trailing fifth Money Hustler as they make their way to the opening quarter in Elm Grove Bandit. And Lonnie Stokes up on the outside to take the lead, racing second. Miss Mimi, then back in third, R.E. Scott. That opening quarter, 30 and one fifth. And Camco Mario back in fourth. He's closing in and racing fifth. Money Hustler is a race single file and drive on to the 3 8 pole led by Elm Grove Bandit on the lead. Racing second, Miss Mimi with the perfect pocket trip. Then back in third on the inside as they race halfway home. That's R.E. Scott. Camco Mario and Barrio checks over his shoulder. And he's moving on the outside from fourth. And trailing fifth is Money Hustler the half in an even 102 as they round the turn. Led by Elm Grove Bandit. Then racing second, Miss Mimi. Still third, R.E. Scott Camco Mario. On the outside, advancing from fourth, and Elm Grove Bandit came off the pylons and gave a chance for Miss Mimi to come up the inside and get the lead. Elm Grove Bandit now finds himself on the outside as they drive to the three quarters, and Camco Mario is racing fourth, fifth to the inside, Ari Scott, and trailing at the back of the pack, Money Hustler won 34 and 1 as they round the turn for the drive home led by Miss Mimi. Then racing second on the outside, driving Elm Grove Bandit. Then back to third, R.E. Scott, Camco, Mario, and trailing Money Hustler. Deep stretch, Miss Mimi. Elm Grove Bandit trying to get back up and get it here after giving up that lead. And Elm Grove Bandit comes back on to win it. Elm Grove Bandit. In for second, Miss Mimi. And in for third was R.E. Scott. Time for the mile, 204 and 2. And it's Elm Grove Bandit. And parading back now, your unofficial winner of race one, number four, Elm Grove Bandit, a three year old son of Force of Life. Out of the known Ooks mare, let's twixt again. Owned by Al McNuck, Cassandra Fram, and Jamie Hashi. Trained by Earl Fram, Lonnie Stokes in the driver's seat, Elm Grove Bandit, third win of the campaign, and this afternoon, 204 and 2. And behind the gate now, full field of eight in the hands of the starter. Here's how we score out Largo Sun and Lonnie Stokes. And we have lock load fire, Gord Hennessy, come on scoot, scores three. And Wayne Watson from post four, Cookie Larry goes and Todd Trites. Ingal scores five. And then John Davidson, then scoring six, Diamond Hard, Mark Hag, Cole J. Commando from seven. Now in line, Dead Harvey, and outside eight, Charlotte's Bonnie. Jill Berrio, full field of eight, race two, here they come. They are off and pacing Cookie Larry goes chasing the gate out of there and looking for the lead up on the inside Largo Sun. He's got good gate speed and he's looking for the lead but on the outside now Cookie Larry goes takes it Largo Sun second. Then on the outside driving up third come on Scoot then racing fourth lock load fire in gals got away fifth. Then Diamond Hard six, Gold J Commando seventh, and Charlotte's Money can see them all as they race on by the opening quarter, and it's Cookie Larry Ghost and Trites on the point, 29 and two opener. Largo Sun is second, then racing third. Come on, Scoot Lock Load Fire still in from fourth, racing fifth in Gals and Diamond Hard another two back in six, racing seventh. Cold J Commando Charlotte's Money can still see them all and three eighths of the mile complete and stacked up by your leader Cookie Larry goes and Largo Sun second. Come on, Scoot third. Lock Load Fire from fourth. Diamond Hard underway fifth, then racing six in Gals has some racing room in along the cones. Now the half in a minute and three fifths. Cookie Larry goes up front. 
Then second on the outside comes, come on, Scoot. Inside third, Largo Sun, then Lockload Fire from fourth. Racing fifth in Gals, and Diamond Hard rolling on from sixth. Charlotte's Monty took the inside route, and he's seventh. Cole J. Commando trails eighth as they drive on to the three quarters, and it's Cookie. Larry goes leading and moving out a bit. Then racing second by the three quarters, 133 and one, and a bit of a break in fractions there for Cookie Larry Goes, and Trites gets a jump on them here in this final eighth. Cookie Larry Goes, come on, scoot second. Then racing third up the inside with an eighth of a mile to go. That's Largo Sun on the outside. Ingalls has shaken loose late and coming on and is looking for second, but it's going to be Trites, the whip tucked away, and an easy win for Cookie Larry. He goes, then come on, Scoot and in gals, filling out the top three. Time for the mile, 203, and Cookie Larry goes. Final quarter, 29 and 4. Pretty back now, the winner of race number two. Number three, Cookie Larry goes, a seven-year-old gelded son of Largo out of the nightly blue chip mare, Charlotte's Cookie. Owned by Mel Land, who does the training, Todd Trites in the driver's seat. And Cookie Larry goes, picks up his second winning trip of the season and this afternoon, stepping in 203. And he's a son of justice denied, making his first time start for Todd Trites from Post position number one. Then we've got the Deemer and the three-year-old driven by John Davidson. He'll now score post two. Kane Rise again, three-year-old Arcane Hanover Philly from post number three, Wayne Watson. Then River Swing and the two-year-old Philly in the event, Jill Barrio drives. And Cocan Emily, the four-year-old from post seven, or from post five rather, wearing number seven. Here they come. They're off and pacing and a good start for the Deemer out for the lead. Then Kane rise again, races second around the first turn. Then racing third, Ridiculous on the inside. Then it's River Swing back in fourth and tip to the outside and racing fifth in the backfield and trailing but Ridiculous goes off stride and Cocan Emily around safely and she's now fourth Ridiculous after the break and he now trails fifth as they march on to the opening quarter and Johnny D has the Deemer on top 29 and 4 opener the Deemer Kane Rise again is racing second then back in third it is River Swing gapped out to Cocan Emily back in fourth and trailing after the break. Ridiculous. Three eighths of the mile in, led by the Deemer and Kane Rise again second. Closing the gap, that's Reverse Swing and she's closing in. Racing back in fourth, Cocan Emily and Ridiculous trails halfway home. Led by the Deemer, 59 and 4 around the turn. The Deemer, then Kane rise again, second. River Swing, clever closing now from third. Then Cocan Emily, fourth. And Ridiculous trails fifth. On up the back stretch, on way to the three quarters they go. And led by the Deemer. Then racing second, Kane rise again. River Swing on the outside, getting in gear from third. As they pass the three quarters, the Deemer. Kane rise again, then River Swing third, three quarters, one, 31 as they round the turn. Kane rise again has now got the lead, then racing second on the inside, the Deemer waiting patiently. There's the two year old daughter of Riverboat King. River Swing tips out three wide for Barrio, and she is in high flight from third and going on. They're in deep stretch. Kane rise again, River Swing second, but it's Kane rise again river swing second and the deemer third Kane rise again time for the mile 202 and one 202 and one Kane rise again Back to the winner circle, winner of race number three, number five, Kane Rise Again. Three-year-old daughter of Arcane Hanover out of the Hunterstown mare. Rose to the occasion, Oma Shyla Watson and Bill Smith, Brock McEachern trains. Wayne Watson in the driver's seat, Kane Rise Again. 
this afternoon, winning in 202 and 1. 202 and 1, new lifetime best. Kane rise again. New lifetime mark for the Philly. 202 and 1. Congratulations. Stutters for the fourth race. Field of five behind the stutter. We have Wild Cherry, Wayne Watson. Roll along Cash, John Davidson, Katahdin Country, and Todd Trites. Shady Martin, Jill Barrio, and Mr. Down East, and Phil Reed. A field of five, claiming Pacers here in race four. Here they come. They are off and pacing Shady Martin, getting out of there quick this afternoon. Barrio looking for the lead early with Shady Martin around the turn. Then on the outside, or on the inside rather, that's Wild Cherry. Getting away, racing in second. Then back third, roll along Cash Katahdin Country. Gets a seat back early in fourth. Mr. Down East takes to the back as they race on to the opening quarter. Shady Martin, and he's on the lead by about three and a half. And then racing second, Wild Cherry, back third, roll along Cash. Katahdin Country and Trite spies his time early on. And sitting back in fourth, opener of 30 and 1. And trailing the field, Mr. Down East. Five pacers in single file order. And led up top by Shady Martin by about three and a half now. Racing second, Wild Cherry. Roll along Cash, Katahdin Country. There he goes, out and moving. He likes to get it going early, and there he goes. Out to challenge. Then behind him will come Mr. Down East in front of the grandstand. First time led by Shady Martin on the front end by the half in a minute and four fifths shady martin then racing second wild cherry on the outside katahdin country roll along cash right there beside each other for third and fourth and mr down east will try it from last as they drive on to the three quarters they go led by shady martin he took the lead early and he's looking to make every post a winning one and so far he's done that another quarter to go does he have enough left three quarters one 31 and four that was a 31 second third quarter shady martin wild cherry is second they're gaining in on him a bit but he still has a two length lead to work with with an eighth of a mile to go shady martin wild cherry is coming on in the home stretch katahdin country mr down east is full of pace but the shady martin is going to get it done today shady martin roll along cash for second and for third wild cherry and they were right there for second, third, fourth, and fifth, right across the wire. But your clear winner, Shady Martin, tying a season's best mark of 201 and 3. Shady Martin here in race four, 2-1 and 3. Back to the winner circle, winner of race number four, number four, Shady Martin. Five-year-old gelded son of shady character out of the known Oaks mare, Ronnie Hirsch, all by Linda Votour of St. John, trained by Brock McEachern, Jill Barrio aboard, and the mile 201 and 3, it equals his season's best. Shady Martin, and back-to-back -back training wins for Brock McEachern on the afternoon. Winning earlier with Kane Rise again, he's back here in the fourth race with his trainee, Shady Martin, scoring in 201 and a three. And Andrew Ward also in the winner's circle with back to back winners. Sold for 44,000 from the Dr. Hugh Baird stable. So they're all in action tomorrow night at Mohawk at 820. Now we're set with race five behind the gate and a field of six this time around. Everybody loves Raymond and Sam Hodgen. Then from post two, Memories of Love and Ed Harvey. Megan L. Down, Steve Mason from three. Then from four, Holiday Moon and Todd Trites. Bryden and John Davidson from five. And fastest can be to the outside. Mark Hag in the bike. Six starters, here they come. They are off and pacing. Everybody loves Raymond on the inside going for it. But Bryden on the outside gets off the gate well from post five. And he's going for it as well around the turn. Then getting away third, Memories of Love. 
Fourth, Megan L. Down, then getting away fifth, Holiday Moon, and fastest can be trails as Bryden takes over. Bryden on the outside, then racing second, Everybody Loves Raymond, and he is second, the give and go on here, and Hodgen takes back over with Everybody Loves Raymond, and the Eric Wilson train horses are one and two. Everybody Loves Raymond, 30 and one opener, retakes, then Bryden sits in second, back third, Memories of Love, Megan L. Down, watches it all from fourth then racing fifth to the outside here comes fastest can be and he's going to get some cover as megan l down and steve mason moves out from fourth now trailing six to the inside holiday moon halfway home in front of the judges stand first time around and everybody loves raymond in controlling order megan l down comes up to call on the outside, second, the half, 101 and four. And everybody loves Raymond. He'll be tough to beat now. 101 and four, half. On the outside, second is Megan L. Down. Then Bryden sits in third. On the outside, fastest can be. He's getting into it here. And he's fourth on the outside. Memories of Love, not far off. About three and a half lengths off in fifth. Racing six, Holiday Moon as they dance on to the three quarters by that marker. Led by everybody loves Raymond. 1, 32 and 3, 30 and 4 in that third quarter. And everybody loves Raymond as things his way on the front end here. A well rated mile by Hodgen, and he's on top. Then on the outside, second, Megan L. Down. Bryden needs some real estate. Fastest can be is closing it up strong on the outside. Everybody loves Raymond. Bryden, Megan L. Down. Deep stretch, so, and everybody loves Raymond. And he wins at gate to wire fast. And he wins for Sam Hodgen. Time for the mile. 202 and 1. Everybody loves Raymond and Sam Hodgen. 202 and 1. Pretty back to the winner circle, the winner of race number five. Number one, everybody loves Raymond, a five-year-old son of race in Hanover. Out of the Gemini Risk Mare, Gemini Goddess. All by Eric Wilson of Majorville. Trained by Eric Wilson, Sam Hodgen. In the driver's seat for Everybody Loves Raymond, winning this afternoon, 202 and 1. A gate to wire effort, Everybody Loves Raymond. Winning here in the fifth race, the mile 202 and 1, his third win of the season. Stutters behind the gate here for race six, one Funday Bay and Lonnie Stokes. Two Rosalie Sealster, Randy Phillips. Lucky Northern Star from three and Roscoe Braith. Arcane Agent, Wayne Watson. Oh, my beautiful doll, Rick Armstrong. Sea Wind Pantera, Todd Trites. Heron Bay and Mark Hag outside seven. Seven across, here they come. They are off and pacing. Oh, my beautiful doll. The free legged pacer going out for the lead. Then on the outside, see when Pantera gets away second around the turn. Then it's Heron Bay on the outside, strong third. Racing fourth at the Cones, Rosalie Sealster. Then racing in fifth at the Pylons, Fun Day Bay. Then it's back to Arcane Agent, trailing the field early on as they hit the backside as Lucky Northern Star. On way to the opening quarter they go, and on the outside, and now grabbing the lead, see when Pantera and Trites, 28 and four opener, 28 and four, and it's Sea Wind Pantera. Oh, my beautiful doll. Took her there to the opening quarter, now sits second. Heron Bay backed off, now third. Rosalie Sealster, a gap of two more back to her in third. Then racing fourth on the inside, Fun Day Bay. She's out and moving, though. Then the two trailers in the backfield are Arcane Agent, Lucky Northern Star, halfway home, led by Sea Wind Pantera. Fifth. 59 and one halfway home as they round the turn. Sea Wind Pantera. Oh, my beautiful doll. Racing second, then racing third at the cones is Heron Bay. Rosalie Sealster 
closes it up in fourth and on the inside Fun Day Bay and back to the two trailers Arcane Agent and trailing Lucky Northern Star out from second there goes oh my beautiful doll on the outside hitting hard second three quarters one thirty and three around the turn neck and neck Sea Wind Pantera oh my beautiful doll Heron Bay is back in third Rosalie Sealster and these three stirring up a front end battle here through the home stretch. Oh, my beautiful doll has the lead. Sea Wind Pantera Heron Bay. Oh, my beautiful doll is going to win it. Oh, my beautiful doll wins for Rick Armstrong here in race six. And the time for the mile 201 and one. Back to the winner's circle, the winner of race six, number five. Oh, my beautiful doll, free-legged daughter of Ram Baron. Out of the run, the table mare, dance with the Duke. Owned by Rick Armstrong and Hardy Lawrence. Rick does the training and the driving of the mare. And she wins this afternoon, 201 and one. A nice trip for Oh, my beautiful doll, the free-legged mare, winning in 201 and one. Congratulations. For the seventh race, approaching top of the stretch. And in the seventh race, here's how we score out. Talking about my boy and Todd Trites. From post two, Gordy's last call, Jill Barriel. Then Ryan's Fancy from three and Lonnie Stokes. Four, Sweet Lofty and Randy Phillips. From five, Educated John Davidson. Rocket Musical from six and Mark Hag. Just a reminder, Jeff Lewis outside. Here they come. They're off and pacing, no surprise here. Gordy's last call, going out for the lead, Rocket Musical. Fires out strong on the outside, going for second. Then in along the cones, talking about my boy third, Ryan's fancy fourth. Then it's the mare Sweet Lofty, back in fifth. Then racing six, up the backside. That is educated and trailing the field. Just a reminder as they race on past the opening or to the opening quarter. And there goes another give and take here. And on the outside, Gordy's last call out for the retake and has the lead. Rocket Musical over a quarter of 30 seconds flat. Gordy's last call moves out by a length and a half. But coming and calling early. Here comes Sweet Lofty on the outside. And she's driving on second. Inside third, Rocket Musical. Here comes educated on the outside driving up from fourth and talking about my boy fifth racing six outside comes Ryan's fancy and just a reminder trails Gordy's last call took us halfway home and Barrio 59 and four Gordy's last call sweet lofty is ducked in for a breather and is racing now second on the outside educated left uncovered third on the outside Ryan's fancy moving on then rocket musical getting locked in solid from fifth then talking about my boy just a reminder Gordy's last call looking straight Strong so far here today, and she's got the lead. Barrio with some tap urging on the mare by the three quarters. Gordy's last call, 130 flat by the three quarters. Gordy's last call, educated is racing second. Then Sweet Lofty third on the outside, fourth. Ryan's fancy. Gordy's last call, educated is inching up and is going to give her a go here in the home stretch. Gordy's last call, educated. Then Sweet Lofty on the outside. Outside coming on, Ryan's fancy, but Gordy's last call is going to win it here. Second straight win here at Exhibition Park Raceway. She was a winner her last start in 59 and 3, and this afternoon she wins. Time for the mile. A season's best for her. 159 and 2. Gordy's last call. The winner circle, winner of race number 7. Number three, Gordy's last call, a four-year-old daughter of Matter of Money, out of the Dexter Nukesmare guest appearance, entered by Earl Fram, who does the training. Jill Barrio on the bike, second win from the Earl Fram stable today. And Gordy's last call ties her season's best of 159 and two. And second straight win here at Exhibition Park, the mile one, 59 and two. Gordy's last call.
And we'll give you the correct answer as we're moving in here. The horse's name was Cardigan Bay. Cardigan Bay, the first horse ever to go over a million dollars in earnings. The next one will be easier, I promise. As we're moving in here, the eighth race, back up class, materialism has the inside for Mark Hague, becoming Jarwan, Jill Burial. Then our East Queen Virginia from three, Steve Mason, always Jarwa, Wayne Hubbard, and from the outside, Gemini Colleen and Gord Hennessy. Five across the track, back up class. Here they come. They're off and pacing, becoming Jarwa. Stepping out for the early lead, he takes it. Materialism up the inside, gets away well, and is racing second around the first turn. Then racing third on the outside, always Jarwa is going after his brother here. And he's backing off, though, as our East Queen Virginia gets in third. Always Jarwa, fourth, looking for a spot to back off. And trailing the field, Gemini Colleen becoming Jarwa. On the lead here for Barrio, out by a couple, Materialism. And had the rail to his advantage. He got away nicely here, and he's riding the pocket. But now on the outside, always Jarwa comes up to second. And they were up the quarter, 30 seconds flat. Materialism now is racing third. And the Civ sibling rivalry is heating up here as the brothers are duking it out early here becoming Jarwa always Jarwa on the outside second then materialism third Gemini Colleen getting into it fourth our East Queen Virginia getting shuffled back and she now trails halfway home a minute flat becoming Jarwa always Jarwa on the outside second third materialism then on the outside Gemini Colleen our East Queen Virginia becoming Jarwa he's got his brother by about half a length here always Jarwa on the outset on the outside second and they're battling neck and neck here materialism back in third then outside driving fourth Gemini Colleen and trailing our East Queen Virginia by the three quarters one thirty and they've went every panel in thirty seconds flat 130 by the three quarters and stepping out becoming Jarwa always Jarwa second materialism our East Queen Virginia watch for her she's got a great finishing kick and she's coming on to second becoming Jarwa our East Queen Virginia coming on but becoming Jarwa will give Barrio his third our East Queen Virginia second materialism third and the time for the mile 159 and 4. Back to back sub two minute trips here. And this time it's becoming Jarwa. 159 and 4. Well, we got to take care of business here and pray back the winner of race number eight, number two, becoming Jarwa. Four year old gelded son of Liz Ryan out of the Stargaze Hanover Mares, Van and Star, oh my Harvey Holm. Trained by Lucy St. Amour, Jill Barrio up for the steer, and he wins his second start of the season. Back-to-back -back winners, and the mile 159 and 4. So the mile 159 and 4 becoming Jarwa, and three wins on the afternoon for driver Jill Barrio. Top of the stretch, race nine, Salzburg Dandy, Wayne Watson. Tis my little one, Gord Hennessy, eyes on you, and John Davidson. Cocan Rebel, Jerry Gallant. Bert and Bert, Jill Barrio, stagecoach gambler, Lonnie Stokes. Gracious goodness, Mark Hag and Island Zane, and Todd Trites. Eight across the gate, the ninth race. Here they come. They're off and pacing eyes on you. Out for the early lead. Up on the inside, Salzbrook Dandy. And getting away strong, Bert and Bert to the inside around the turn. And Bert and Bert park third. Then racing fourth, Stagecoach Gambler. Racing back in fifth, gapped out, tis my little one. Then racing six, Cocan Rebel. Back to Gracious Goodness and Island Zane trails the field as they make their way to the opening quarter and up top and cutting it out its eyes and you Salzbrook Dandy up tight second and Watson making a bold move here and making a move 29 seconds flat that opening quarter and its eyes on you Salzbrook Dandy 
wanted the lead there for a second. Watson backs off again. Then Bert and Bert back in third. Racing fourth is Stagecoach Gambler. Then racing fifth is My Little One. Sixth to Cocan Rebel. Then on the outside getting in gear. Gracious goodness and trailing the field halfway home. Island Zane and Eyes on You took him by the half. Salzbrook Dandy is up tight second. How about this? 58 and 4 by the half and it's eyes on you and Davidson down the choo-choo here and he's got the lead Salzbrook Dandy on the outside and he's made a move from second again Bert and Bert is racing back in third on to the three quarters they go neck and neck and eyes on you hanging tough Salzbrook Dandy on the outside then Bert and Bert right there as well back in third by the three quarters one twenty nine and four Salzbrook Dandy eyes on you Bert and Bert is racing third and eyes on you back on top again Salzbrook Dandy Bert and Bert and they are tight through the home stretch Salzbrook Dandy retakes the lead then eyes on you Bert and Bert on the outside and he's picking up the pieces here and it's going to be Bert and Bert just in time at the wire and that's four for Barrio and the first two fighting it out through the home stretch. Burton Burke gets up to pick up the pieces in the home stretch and the time for the mile two minutes and four fifths. It's Burton Burt. And back to the winner circle with his fourth driving win in the afternoon. Driver Gilles Barrio aboard five. Bert and Bert, a five-year-old son of Liz Ryan, out of the big towner mare, Battletown Bow. Owned by Doug and Ron Hildebrand, Gilles Barrio in the driver's seat. And for Bert and Bert, make it win seven of the season. Seven wins for Bert and Bert this season. And the mile today, two minutes and a four-fifths. Bert and Bert. Returns as a favorite here, and he wins the mile. Two minutes, four fifths, and four wins on the day for driver Joe Barrio. And the starters for our 10th top class pacers behind the gate. And we have Shelmark Adios off the inside post, Gord Hennessy. Then from post two, Rapid Kane and Todd Trites. Leaving three, Racklin Fineline, Jill Berrio. From four, Ari's Donna, John Davidson. Let's love Tango Lavros. From five, Randy Phillips. And post six, Dan Sanover, Lonnie Stokes. Top class spacers, here they come. They are off and pacing Dance Hanover, the big four-year-old son of Astraos, looking for the early lead. Up on the inside, though, is Shellmark Adios, and he's going with him around the turn. Dance Hanover on the outside, going for it now and takes the lead. It's Dance Hanover, then sh racing second, Shellmark Adios. Racing back in third, that's Rapid Kane. Then Rackland fine line fourth. Our East on a fifth and trailing sixth. Let's tango Lavros as they race single five. Six of them past the opening quarter, 29 and 2, and it's Dance Hanover on top. Then Shalmar Cadios about two lengths back in second. Third at the cones on the inside is Rapid Kane. There goes Rackland Fine Line. He's moving first up, a winner of last week's top class, looking for the repeat, and he's out and moving for Barrio. Then right behind him comes our East Donna and trailing the field. Let's tango Lavros halfway home, led by Dan Sanover, Rackland Fine Line. His stablemate coming to call, 59 and 4, halfway home. And on the inside, Dance Hanover, Rackland, fine line on the outside, second. Then Shellmark, Adios, third. Our East Don is kicking in from fourth. Then racing fifth, Rapid Kane, and trailing sixth. Let's tango Lavros, Dance Hanover. And he's put away the challenge of Rackland, fine line. And he's on top, Shellmark, Adios, his second, Rackland, fine line, third. Third, one, 29 and three, possible 
Sub two minute trip would be our third of the day if Dance Hanover can beat it here. And he's going to get a challenge from Shell Mark Adios, who's to set in the pocket most of the way. And he's out to challenge here. Less than an eighth to go. Dance Hanover digging in. Shell Mark Adios second. Then Rapid Kane comes on late third. Dance Hanover wins our top class for Lonnie Stokes. And in for second was Shelmer Gadios Rapid King got up nicely up the inside lane to finish third. And a season's best for Dance Hanover. 158 and 4. Our third sub two minute trip of the day. And Dance Hanover a season's best 158 and 4. And back to the winner's circle, winner of race 10. Number 1A, Dance Hanover. Four-year-old gelded son of Astraos. Out of the top, not your mare. Drop your rig in. Home of the ultimate stable of Dieppe, Rosaire Barrio trains. Lonnie Stokes in the driver's seat. And five wins, five seconds, and three thirds. He hasn't missed the board. And he wins here this afternoon. Mile and 158 and four. Our third sub two minute trip. And the quickest of the day, 158 and 4. Appreciation night, Tuesday, in the Sulky Room Lounge. And now, the Stutters for race 11 behind the gate. Here's how we leave. Consider me lucky and Wayne Watson. Hugh K. Bluegrass and John Davidson. J.R. Blue Chip, Mark Hag. Then from post 4, my buddy Mark and Todd Trites. Fittipaldi. Moves in to post five, and Sam Hodgen leaving six. No thoughts of her own, Jill Berrio. And Rita Sealster has the outside. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Good start. Consider me lucky. Off for the early lead on the inside from that inside post. And has the lead. My buddy Mark, though, pressuring early. And he's rolled off stride, though. My buddy Mark off stride and on the run. Everybody by safely, though. That leaves Consider Me Lucky inheriting the lead. Then racing second on the inside. As they move to the quarter, Hugh K. Bluegrass, no thoughts of her own, had nowhere to go but to keep going. And she's going after the leader, Consider Me Lucky. By that opening quarter, 30 and 4, Consider Me Lucky. No thoughts of her own, getting the park job here. Park second, then third on the inside, Hugh K. Bluegrass. Then back and forth on the outside, Fittipaldi. Right there, fifth is J.R. Blue Chip. Then racing back in sixth, Rita Sealster and trailing the field as they move off the turn. My buddy Mark after the early break, but it's up front action with Consider Me Lucky. No thoughts of her own. On the outside, racing second. She's been parked every step and the half in a minute and four fifths around the turn. Consider Me Lucky. No thoughts of her own. Hugh K. Bluegrass, what a trip here for her. On the inside, racing third, then fourth going out. J.R. Blue Chip is angled out. Then Fittipaldi, Rita Sealster, my buddy Mark, but consider me lucky. And Watson looking for another win for trainer Brock McEachran. And he's looking for his third training win of the day. And he's in gear here in 130. Three and two, 132 and three rather, 132 and three, and it's Consider Me Lucky. Then Hugh K. Bluegrass has had the best trip of all, and here comes Whistle and Johnny D from the pocket with an eighth to go. Consider Me Lucky, Hugh K. Bluegrass marching on by. Hugh K. Bluegrass has got it. Consider Me Lucky, J.R. Blue Chip comes on, but it's going to be Hugh K. Bluegrass for Johnny D. Consider me lucky, second and third, going to J.R. Blue Chip. And the time for the mile, 203 and four. Hugh K. Bluegrass takes the final, 203 and four. And back to the winner circle, the winner of race number 11, number three, Hugh K. Bluegrass, an eight-year-old gelded son of Do Run Run Bluegrass out of the silent majority mare, Hebe GB Bluegrass. 
On by Ron Dinsmore, trained and driven by John Davidson. Back-to-back -back victories for Hugh K. Bluegrass. And this afternoon, 2.03 and 4. It's Mighty Mouse in the tank in the winner's circle for the victory picture on Hugh K. Bluegrass. <laughs>